Welcome to Music Diary Group, the hottest podcast for inspirational and gospel entertainment. Featuring undiscovered artists from across the globe. Unlocking the music from hip-hop to rock. We got it. Welcome to Music Diary Group, the hottest podcast for inspirational and gospel entertainment. I'm your host, Sincere on Beats. And I'm your girl, Daisy. D-A-Y-C-E-E. In the place to be. Ha <laughs> That's what's up, man. Um, yo, today's episode is called uh, The X-Files. Of course, you know um, what that means. We're going to talk about DMX, yes. the dog. Today's show is a tribute to DMX, you know what I mean? Shout out to um, shout out to DMX's family. You know, shout out to Yonkers. Yo, I'm from Yonkers, New York. Shout out to everybody who did this before me. You know, did music, um, the locks, uh, the sporty thieves, Mary J. You know, I grew up watching these cats, man, do this. And if it wasn't for them and seeing this, um, I don't think I would be doing this now, you know what I mean, on another level. And uh shout out to D from the Rough Riders, CEO, man, because he allowed me to intern at the Rough Riders Studios in 2008. So I'm very appreciative yeah. for that. Absolutely. You know Motivation. I mean? And before we get started. We want to welcome you to the Music Diary Group podcast and give you a little bit of information about what we do. Welcome. 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 I mean, I had to throw that in there. <laughs> and so, um, Music Diary Group podcast is an, uh, is an outlet or platform for mm-hmm. all entertainment, yep. inspirational, and gospel and entertainment. Gospel. You know what I'm saying? Dance hall, hip hop. All genres. All genres, man. And so some of the things we're going to be doing on this podcast are promoting undiscovered artists. Ooh, that sounds fun. Through uh, songs of the week mm. that we're going to be highlighting mm-hmm. um, from, from artists that people just don't know about yet. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of artists out there, though. Great talent out yeah, there. A lot of great talent. Uh, that people don't know about. Shouts out to the you. Great yes. talent. Yeah. Wherever you are. Hit us up. Yeah. And so um, we're going we're gonna to let the audience participate yep. by liking it or thumping it. You go, you can you have the opportunity to to Ooh. weigh in Ooh. on how fire how hot that song is. If and you don't like, if you like it, mm-hmm. you like that joint. If you don't like it, right, you gonna thump it, and we tell you how to. We gonna do all that later on, right? You know what I mean? We give you, we give you opportunity yeah. to to uh, test out test out the waters and see how yeah. see if your music is really as fire as you think it is. That's the and, key. <laughs> and we're going to be doing some interviews. Okay. Over the phone interviews with some of these artists. Yeah, we can't, We don't do no in person right now. COVID? Nah, we don't We do not do no COVID. Yeah, one day we'll graduate, right? One day. Get back to it. <laughs> one day. One day, one day. But not um, right now. Yeah, so we're also going to use this platform to discuss controversial topics mm. related to inspirational and gospel entertainment. So, that sounds good, too. You know, there's a lot of controversy out there. It's a lot. Regarding what's... What's considered gospel? I'm going to do my air quotes. Yeah, yeah. What's considered inspiration? Um, and all kinds of little taboo topics yeah. that, that mainstream radio just doesn't. They don't want to pick up. They don't up. really they don't talk wanna, about it. Yeah. They don't. Yeah. It's, 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 it's money. When money's involved and the higher ups, mm-hmm. they can't talk about that. But guess what? What? That's what we're going to do because <laughs> we don't care. We don't right. care. Right. You know, and you know, you need an outlet for everything. It's there good you go. to talk about some of these things. And so, um, again, we're going to be inviting viewer participation. So we're going to ask you can you can call in, you can leave comments, and guess what? What we're going to read those comments. So you're going to mm-hmm. read the comments. You know, you know what? Can we do something else too? What's that? Can we put that on air? Yeah, the comments on air. Yeah, we're gonna put the comments on air. We're gonna put you on blast. Oh. So go ahead and put, leave those comments. You can leave them right now. Please leave mm. one. So, so, so we can read it. We can't wait. I can't wait for that. <laughs> we got some roll calls, some some contests, and some giveaways. Oh yeah. Yeah. Ooh. So we want you to. We want I can't you to wait participate. for that. You, want you might want to watch. Stay tuned because you like those giveaways. Everybody like free yeah. stuff. We got some hot stuff to give away. I like free stuff. Yeah, we don't give away no rinky dinks. We give away nice things. <laughs> All right, that's what's up. We also be provide, uh, we'll be providing resource networks to support up-and-coming artists, uh, such as... Like, you know, if you have, like, beats, you know what I'm saying, and, and you don't really know how to get your beats out, um, or if you're an artist, you're looking for beats, 
hit us up. You know what I mean? And we'll try to patch people in together. You know what I'm saying? We'll try to link them together if you need a studio. Because we in Atlanta, Georgia, and New York. So both places, we got studios and we got um, uh, artists and, and musicians. producers, musicians, everything. Mm-hmm. But you just have to um, get at us. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we understand sometimes it's hard to get that, especially in this COVID. Every, everybody's everywhere. Mm-hmm. So now utilize us to uh, get your music. Out there, right? That's what we're for. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we out here helping one another out, and we yeah. wanna we wanna promote those those inspirational and those gospel joints that are out there because there's so much good stuff out there, just underground. Yeah, you know, some so, great music out there. Yeah, let us be the key. Because guess what? <laughs> this is Music Diary Group, and we hold the key to that joint. And we unlock. We unlock the music. The music. Yeah. And so we also promote venues. That provide that inspirational entertainment. You know, sometimes I'm just looking for a cool place to chill. I, I like my spoken word. Oh yeah, yeah. I like my clean comedy. Oh yes, yo, you know? yo. Let me let me mention something too. Mm-hmm. If you're a spoken word artist, yo, get at us too. You know what I'm saying? It's all inspirational. You know what I mean? Yo, we here for that. So, and if you are a venue, you needing um, you know, uh, uh to to promote to 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 do anything sponsorship or whatever. Just get out of us too, man. You know, we'll we'll put the information out there and you know, we'll work to build up uh the people to get the music out or comedy or whatever you got going on. Right. Or if you just play spoons. Yeah, yo, if you play praise, spoons. Praise the Lord with the spoons. Yo, yo. <laughs> yo. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> play spoons. I used to play spoons though. Who didn't? <laughs> I don't know. I, I really don't know. Oh, so that's what we're here for. So tune in, tune in. We'll give you some more information Word. at the end of this podcast about how to submit that so you can you can be a part of those songs of the week. Definitely. Definitely. So, yo, check this out. Before we start for the topic of the day, we're going to um we're going to start off with DMX's prayer. All right. I think that would be cool. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with starting off with some prayer. You can't go wrong with that. Then I'll be fine. Yes. All right, man. Let's go. Let us pray. Father God, I am just learning how to pray. Bear with me. First, I thank you for the life of everyone that's here with me. Then I thank you for the love you give me. Why? I don't know. I don't deserve it. It hurts inside. Many a nights I cried, called your name out loud, but didn't call you when I was doing good, too proud. And still you gave me love. I wasn't used to that. Because most of the people that gave me love ended up taking it back. It's something new to me, so I'm begging you for time to adjust. Let me make it there. I will be one you can trust. What I stand for, I put my life on. I do. I guess what I'm asking is, show me how to stand for you. And I will rap for you, sing for you, preach for you, reach for you, teach for you. I will love you like you love me unconditionally and I will always be prepared for whatever the mission will be give the nutrition to me and I'll properly digest it and when I give it back I will show you word well invested and whenever I go before I go let me give thanks to you Lord for my birth for every day that I've lived You gave me your love most of my life. I didn't know it was there. In the name of Jesus, I give you my life because you can. Wow. Amen. Wow. (laughs) That's the dog. Mm -hmm. TMX. Right. So let me ask you this. What's up? Who have you you ever seen start off a hip-hop concert with a prayer when have you ever seen that that's a good one i don't re- i don't recall anybody i don't recall anybody who was uh 
We start off like, I mean, other than, well, see, the Oscars and and, mm-hmm. and, and, and like the Grammys and all that. That's, that's people that accept an awards. Yes, yeah, that's, that's something different though. You said yeah. concerts. Mm-hmm. I, I really don't know nobody. I mean, off the top, I mean, maybe there is, but I don't, I don't, I don't really know nobody. Mm-hmm. But you know what? That's what make DMX the dog. That's what make him so versatile in 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 his music. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yes. Um, he was such a versatile person. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? A versatile artist. You know what I mean? And um, I think that's why people connected like with him in in his music. You know what I mean? Yes, so, that humanness. Yeah, because that's the you know it goes into that that being genuine. Yeah, you know, just being genuine. genuinely you. Yeah, and I think that's why people accept him. You know what I'm saying? Um, when it comes to his his, I want to say his inspirational music. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Because you know he's from the streets, and being that he's a street cat, he was able to show his vulnerability, yeah. and not everybody wants to do that. Nobody ever. Does that, you know what I mean? And not to be sexist, but especially not men. Right, right, right. <laughs> I mean, you know, that's the truth. All right. Yeah. That's not comfortable. It's not a comfortable position to be in, but he seemed to be very comfortable with it. Right. You know, uh, going kind of back and forth. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you all sides of me. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. show you that, you know, my spiritual side. I'm going to show Sh- you. Yep. I'm going to show you my street side. That's definitely versatility. That's Yeah, it mm-hmm. is, man. And you don't, you don't really get that, man. That's why I think the world embraced him. Because of that. Right. You know what I mean? Because everybody got their own thing going on. Right. You know what I mean? In life. And, you know, um, people say they pray. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But they, they don't typically say that to the world. You know what I mean? And they don't want to show that. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? But X showed that. You know what I'm saying? He showed that he was a pr- he was He prays. Right. And then when you see him pray, you know what I mean? He'd be like, yo, he'd be really into his prayer. And you know what got me too is even at the beginning of that prayer, he mm-hmm. he was even vulnerable in that saying, I, "I'm I'm learning how to pray. Yeah, I'm yeah, new yeah. at this. Yeah. You know, this is this is you know, this is a new prayer. For, this is a new thing for me. Yeah. Like who does that? You know what I mean? Like this is really just an open book. And I guess that that really is what makes him relatable. Right? Yeah, it's just that that he, he was just an open book. Yeah, man. Because everything that he uh he he talked about in his music. Whether he was a street cat, you know what I mean? Whether he was a, a a Christian or whatever it was, like you just said, he was he was relatable. Mm-hmm. So he was almost like everybody. Right. You know, right. he was like everybody. Right. You know what I mean? So I think is uh, I think that's the reason why um he's like the the only artist that was embraced by even the Christian community. That's so interesting, right? Because that that was my next question. Like, why huh. is it that you have artists that embraced him, mm-hmm. you know, and he was going, he was doing both, you know, he was doing the hip hop, he was doing the hardcore hip hop, right, right. and then he would come over here and then he would do his inspirational stuff. Mm-hmm. But then you got other artists that are f- straight, you know, R&B, straight hip hop, and then one day they decide to get on a gospel album. Mm. Or do a gospel record, and the Christian community slams it. And you know, people in the Christian community, they go hard. They be yeah, like, they do "Nah, that. don't do that. Don't do right. that over here." Right? They completely slam it. But yeah. uh, with DMX, there were he was embraced. He was, and I'm sure you, he has his critics. Everybody has their critics, of course. But he was embraced for some reason. There was like more grace extended. <laughs> to him than other people that decided, you know, that they were going to do a gospel record and they were going to stray from their normal, you know, genre and right. just do a gospel record. And, a, and they were just slammed and they were criticized very harshly. You know so, why I think? Why? why? Do you think that is? I think because um, he started off doing that. Mm-hmm. And then, um, you know, like off his first, his first record, his first album, matter of fact, his first album, he was always praying on his records, you know what I'm saying? But it wasn't like a prayer where he said, okay, God bless you, you know, this, that, and the third. No, you actually felt his prayer. You was like, okay, there's something about him. Mm-hmm. Even though he's doing this type of music, there's something about him mm-hmm. that's connected his music with his spirituality. Some, something, everybody got something. So you may, you, you think that made us it easier I think it made it easy. To extend grace. I think so. 
Mm. I think I think so. Which mm-hmm. is which is, I mean, something that never happens. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's an anomaly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> using these big words today. Yo, anomaly. I gotta give you this. <laughs> the big words, yo, me. Don't look over here for no big words, yo, because I tell you what it is and I tell you what it's not. Like I keep, no, no, I'm keeping it simple over here. Yeah, that's I think that's why it's so important that we talk about him in this format. Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, how was he? It's, it's incredible that he was able to do both and was embraced Be versatile. by both in you know in both the sh- arenas. The of streets his life. and the church, right? And that's, the streets that's like and the of. church, yo. Who does that? Unheard of. Who does that? Right, and and so this was the, this is the question for me. You know, right. I feel like we should both answer. Everybody's life has a purpose. Mm-hmm. I feel like everybody leaves a lesson, a legacy. So what do you? What's the what's the takeaway? What's the lesson that that you got from that that, that you take away from um from DMX's life in his fifty years on this earth? <sighs> what did he teach us through his life? You know what? When you asked me that question earlier. I was really thinking, you know what I mean? But I really had to think that hard. I think the lesson from his life that I want to say that I've learned was um, don't give up. And what do I mean by don't give up? Even though he had his own struggles and everything that was going on in his life, he never gave up. You know what I'm saying? He never gave up praying. You know, he, he prayed till he died. He never gave up praying. You know what I'm saying? Even with going to jail, even all of that stuff. He never oh, he never stopped praying. You know what I mean? And I think that we should implement that in our own lives. Like no matter what we're going through, we got our own skeletons in our closets, you know what I'm saying? But don't don't give up. Yeah. That's always give up. a good lesson. He was definitely the epitome of that. Yeah, yeah. You know, like Keep going, keep going. Like he had all kind of reasons to give up. Yeah. All kinds of reasons. All kind of reasons. You know what I'm saying? Um, even though you'll have hard days, you know what I'm saying? You'll have the hardest days. But he never gave up. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? It's easy it's 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 easy to just give up throwing the towel. Right. But it's hard to stay in the game. Right. For me, it's um I just like I said, I just embrace genuine people. Kind of like I okay. was saying earlier. Like um genuine people are a dime a dozen. Mm-hmm. They really are. So when I when I see or when I run across somebody, that's just you know you what you see is what you get, and you don't have to guess you know motives and what kind of <laughs> what kind of person they are, and you saying one thing and you doing something else. Right. You know I I appreciate a genuine person. Yeah, and I can so, say that too. <laughs> yeah, and I'm so with you on that. That's I think that's what I don't know if it's so much a lesson or just an appreciation. Of, why, of, why can't uh, it be both? I guess so, right? Yeah, you can you have know? both. Yeah, 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 and you and that does teach people something. Yeah. You know what does genuineness look like? You yeah. know, no pretenses, right? And so, um, it makes all the difference. You know, wow. just world class people. So I definitely appreciate that about him, and you know, that's what I took away from his life. And so, you know, viewers, we would love for you to write in and let us know what lessons you got. What lessons did you get from DMX's life? What lessons did you get from the dog? The dog. <laughs> y'all like y'all like saying his his name, you know what I'm saying? DMX. It's the dog. <laughs> See you know what I mean? Cut that out. Yeah, I had to, I, yo, how to say that, yo. The you dog. Sorry. Nah, I can't bark. <laughs> you can't be a little chihuahua. <laughs> Nobody's gonna be scared of that dog. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, man, um, yeah, yo. So listen, if you have some music, music videos, whatever. Send it to us. Um, make sure it's the video. No links, please. No links. Um, MP3 or MP4. Um, uh, MP3 or MP, MP4. Yo, I cannot speak right now. It's been a long day. MP4 uh-huh. format. <laughs> please send that to us because you might. You might. Just might. Be the song of the week. Right. Make sure it fits our platform. Yeah, make sure it's for our platform. We don't need to go over what's our platform again. Because <laughs> we said it over yes. and over. So we look forward to this new, all this new music. Oh, yeah, man. That we, we can give out to the world. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you got to flood our email. Send it to, uh, send your music to musicdiarygroup at gmail.com. That's M-U-S-I-C-D-I-A-R-Y-G-R-O-U-P. 
at Gmail. Follow us on Instagram, YouTube, uh, everything Music Diary Group. Everything. And one final thing. This show today is sponsored by... It's sponsored by Beauty Par. That's B-E-A-U-T-E-P-A-R.com. So it's not B-E-A-U-T-Y? No, uh, no. Nah. That's not no, the original no, spelling. No. Okay. We, you know, we in, in today's time, mm-hmm. you gotta be different. All right. <laughs> it's, a new, <laughs> it's a new beauty. So that's B E A U T E P A R dot com. Um, a lot of people say, yo, why do I have some smooth hands? Or why do I have some why soft skin? skin? So, why your skin so silky smooth? Yeah, everybody be asking me that. It was like, yo, you don't work. And it's not so glow. It's not that. Got that so <laughs> we can't say that, you know what I mean? Oh, sorry. Yeah, because I don't I don't wanna get uh I don't know if it's uh copyrighted <laughs> or whatever. You know what I mean? I don't care. Got that so go. <laughs> don't nobody care. But uh it's yeah, beauty par. It's, it's beauty par. Mm-hmm. Um I actually use that um the body scrubs and the um the whip butter, the whip, whip body, body butter. butter. I yo, All I put that, that on, man, and uh that's what I've been using. So you might want to go check that out. Uh get your girl some. Fellas, yo, sneak it. Use some too, you know what I mean? Uh, don't nobody care. Men hands need to be soft too. Yeah, you can't yeah. be, you know, mm-hmm. you know, <laughs> and then your hands are rough cutting people up. You can't, you can't be right. doing all that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But um, yes. So yo, that's the end of the show. Yeah, that's the end of the show. Hit us up. Tell us what you think. Tell us what you what you got. How do you how do you like it? Yeah, yeah. Please do that. What you think? We whether definitely you, want want your comments. Yeah, yeah. Whether you like us or you don't like us. Whether you, you know you think I'm ugly, whether you not think I whatever, just mm-hmm. just put something in the comment, you know what I mean? And um, guess what? What we're done. So uh, if nobody ever told you that they love you, we do. Boom. Unlocking, Unlocking the music. The music. Uh-huh. Yeah. Now I know to the world, the rap I kick will make you think I'm a lunatic. Lost my mind, I'm mentally sick. Uh-huh. But for all mankind, this is it. New kingdom on the earth, where the devil don't fit. No more bad times and no more wars. New Jerusalem, the city with the gold on the floor. Righteous laws, a thousand year pause, the earth rejuvenated, Christ illuminated. I fight for the cause, kick down doors, the devil set up, and I'm about to erupt. Max the warrior, I wear the armor of God. Fix your face, raise the base, and stop looking so hard. You see, praising the Lord is easy for me. Craig Max, right where he's supposed to be. You're not close.